Hi, this is Patrick Brunel for Building Directories. In today's video, we're going to talk about troubleshooting custom widgets. This is a great trick to quickly identify if custom code you've added to a widget is in fact breaking the functionality that you're seeking from that widget. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the admin of our website, and I would like to show you the widget that I'm trying to call. So we're going to go to the design settings. We're going to select the home page layout. And you can see in the home page section order, I'm trying to call the recent members. But when I go to my home page, I don't see any recent members anywhere. If I click, I, I may even see this error here. If I click show widgets and I scroll down, I can see that the widget's being called. So where is the content? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a quick trick to find out if the custom code's breaking the functionality. So I'll go back to the admin of my website. We'll go to the toolbox and click on Widget Manager. And from here, you can see I have, in fact, customized this widget. So there's an action that's called Disable. What that's going to do is it's going to cancel my custom widget, and it's going to start using the default widget from the website, which means the default code without any of my custom code added to it. So let's go ahead and do that so you can see what happens. We'll disable the custom widget. It'll be in red. It's easy to identify which widgets are disabled. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to refresh the cache. This is a step that I like to take. So let's go to the devel developers section and click on the refresh cache. Now that I have done that, I'm going to go and visit the website. And let's go see if our recent members are now displaying. And there we have it. All of our recent members are appearing as they should. So perhaps it's the custom code that I added to the widget that broke the functionality. Or perhaps my custom widget did not receive an important core update that was pushed to it, which is why it's breaking the functionality of the widget. So I basically have two options now. I can either delete this widget entirely, which I'll go ahead and do in this instance. And then what I can do is find that widget one more time, the recent members, and customize it starting from a clean slate. Even though I've customized this widget, when I refresh the page, it's going to be working because it's using the default code. So now I can go and attempt my customization one more time, see if I can do it without breaking. I hope that this video was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thank you.